Hello, I'm Dr. Xin Yu Zhao. I'm a professor of neuroscience at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. My lab uses both mice and stem cells to study brain development. About 15 years ago, I started working on fragile X syndrome. The reason is because I wanted to know how the mutation of one single gene can have such a profound impact on human life. In this project, we aim to investigate whether mitochondria can be a new drug target for FIGOX syndrome. Mitochondria are small organelles inside almost every single cell. They are the powerhouse of the cell that producing energy, which is important uh, for both the development and the function of the cell. In my lab and also other labs, we have used um, mouse models for FIGOX syndrome, so-called FIGOX mice. These are mice that have been genetically modified to represent FIGOX syndrome. In the FIGOX mice, we found that um, mitochondria are smaller inside the neurons and do not produce enough energy. When we treated these mice with a mitochondria-promoting compound, we found that this, we can correct some of the behavior deficits of the mice. In this current project, we aim to use human fibroid neurons and to study whether we can use mitochondria promoting drug-like compound to correct fibroid X deficit. These are the neurons derived from a individuals with fibroid X syndrome, and we can study them in the petri dishes. And the, the compound we want to use, some of them are already in clinical trial for other disease. Others are being developed as a drug-like compound. The goal is to develop a new treatment that can be effective for fibroid X syndrome. So first, I want to say thank you for the support and for bringing together the FIGOX field. FRAXA has been the driving force for FIGOX research. Over the years, FRAXA provides research support that allow us scientists to explore novel ideas for understanding FIGOX syndrome and for developing treatment. In addition, FRAXA also brings together multi-aspect FIGOX research, including basic scientists, like me, clinicians, clinical scientists, trainees, and patients. Thank you for leading the force. And with your leadership, I think we can do it. I have received emails and phone calls from FIGOX families asking about a cure, whether there will be a cure or when the cure will be developed. I can assure you, as a scientist and the mother of three children, I'm highly motivated to work really hard towards a cure for fragile X syndrome as soon as possible. And I do have a hope. Christopher Reeve said once, once you choose hope, everything is possible. Thank you. Thank you for your support.